What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Anonymous Nobody. I'm back with another video. Today's topic is going to be the seven levels of disrespect from a woman. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Mr. Anonymous Nobody's YouTube channel. I am your gracious host. Before we begin today's symposium, I have a small request. Before you decide if you like or dislike my video, please watch the entire video. This is gonna be the seven levels of disrespect. Now, if you disagree with the list of seven that I give you, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. My email and contact information is below in the description box as usual. So without further ado, let's get into this topic. <clears throat> the first level of disrespect you may experience from a female would be combativeness, feistiness. Um, I'll give you an example. Let's say, you know, you, you, you headed home and uh, maybe you hit a little rush hour traffic and you call your lady up and say, hey, babe, can you stop and pick up something for me? Kind of run a little behind them in traffic. If she doesn't say anything other than, sure, babe, what do you need me to do? That to me is considered being combative because the request was not very difficult. It was the point of pushing back for the sake of pushing back. Combativeness. I'm sure you've all experienced it and you may not quite see it as disrespectful, but over time, this is very disrespectful. Number one, combativeness. Moving on to number two, the number two level. And again, we're going from least to greatest. So least the greatest. So number seven is going to be the worst and with number one being the least. So we're on to number two. The number two level of disrespect from a female would be slick comments. You know, you ever been talking to your woman? You know, you may have had a, a disagreement or, you know, a difference of views and the conversation subsides and then she may lean on shaming you or, you know, she'll say something on her tongue, but she won't say it to your face. So she'll wait till you walk away and she'll, she'll mumble something. Kind of like, kind of like a kid that's mad at their parents. You know, if the parents disciplining the child, the child will comply, but under the tongue, they're saying all kind of foul stuff. That's kind of what I'm getting at when I talk about slick comments. Guys, don't let this slide. Like I said, as, as we go down this list, you'll see the progression that it progressively gets worse. Now, a lot of guys have let this slide for so long to now it becomes normal. And this is the problem. Hence why I'm making this video. So again, number two level of disrespect is slick comments. Okay. Moving on to number three. The third level of disrespect from a woman will be flat out insults. So a slick comment will be under the tongue, behind your back, not in your face. An insult will be directly to you in your face without hiding. Again, as I mentioned before, these, these levels of disrespect are going to get progressively worse. So number three is going to be outright insults. Okay. Moving on to number four, the number four level of disrespect from a woman will be public embarrassments, public embarrassments. How many times have you seen the couple out and, you know, the guy is upset, but, you know, he's not loud. He's, you know, he's 
He's trying to play it cool. He's not trying to cause a scene and the woman's just irate. You know, she's yelling, she's waving hands. She's drawing attention to the situation. And it's typically something that's either A, something you should be discussing in private or B, not that big of a deal. I see this all the time and I'm sure you do too. And the thing I tell you about public embarrassments, level one, two, and three has probably already happened and he didn't say anything. So if you don't say anything to a woman, then it's okay, it's justified. So number four, level of disrespect, public embarrassments. Moving on to number five, the number five level of disrespect will be slander. Uh, this is a step further than, than shaming. Uh, this is where basically is a, a, a shot at your character. You know, in the age of social media, you get some bad pub out there. You know, people see that as truth. Nobody actually does research on the things that people post on social media platforms. They just assume that to be true that because to most people that is their reality so slander be merching your name as we all know men's names do not change so it's important to not let this happen so number five slander moving on to number six the number six level of disrespect infidelity or cheating yeah, I mean, you probably was wondering when we were going to get to that, because up to this point, everything as far as disrespect was person to person. There wasn't another party involved, so to speak. But now we get to six where she's just flat out cheats. You know, I mean, basically, I mean, honestly, if you get to two, then you should be walking. You know, you get to one, then you need to be having a conversation with your lady. But if you get to two, you know, it's only going to get worse. You might as well just ch charge her to the game and just bounce. Because it's not going to end well for you, especially when we get down to public embarrassments and have your name slandered. Now to the point where she's outright cheating. And no, you're not going to find out. Everybody else will probably know before you do. You'll be the last one to find out. So number six, the number six level of disrespect is infidelity. Now we're going to go into the final, the final level of disrespect. And I hope you guys are, are taking notes. So the number seven and final level of disrespect is it gets to the point where now she may have you set up for a crime you didn't commit. She could have you set up to be robbed or assaulted or even killed. Let me repeat that. Number seven level of disrespect. A woman could have you set up to get either assaulted, robbed or killed. Now, what did you notice? on this list of seven that I presented to you. That once it gets past, I say slander, things escalate quickly. Things escalate really quickly once she's slandered your name in the eyes of the public. At that point, the, the, their respect is gone. And there was a quote, there's a quote that I'll use here. I, I can't remember the the gentleman that, that gave me the quote, he said that uh, respect is lost in buckets and earned in drops. Let me repeat that. Respect is lost in buckets and earned in drops. Very, very, very powerful quote. I love it. I live by it. So I hope you got the message. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please take notes. Fellas, if any of you are out here experiencing any of these, 
take my advice, especially if you if you're if you're in the area where you're past level say three or four, we should talk. Or you should be talking to somebody. You know, don't let this stuff slide. You know, guys, you're out here dating. Don't let it get past level one or two. I'm telling you. I did nobody's worth that. And this is part of the reason I started this channel is for men to start valuing themselves and respecting themselves and not allowing people or women for per se to take that for granted. Everybody has their own value. It's about time us men started recognizing that value. So I'm getting a little long winded. I'm going to wrap this up. I hope everybody has a safe holiday enjoy the time with your family if you're going to be with them comment like share and subscribe as always this is your boy mr anonymous nobody and i'll be back soon peace